these devices may shed some light on what caused Ukraine International Airlines flight PS752 to crash shortly after takeoff. Iranian state television showed footage of what it said were two black boxes recovered from the wreckage. The country's Civil Aviation Authority says they're the cockpit voice recorder and the flight data recorder of the Boeing 737-800. Iran denies allegations the crash was caused by one of its surface-to-air missiles. The thing that is clear to us and that we can say with certainty is that this plane was not hit by a missile. As I said last night, this plane for more than one and a half minutes was on fire and was in the air and the location shows that the pilot was attempting to return. On Thursday, Iran released an initial report saying the three-year-old airliner encountered technical difficulties after takeoff and that the burning jet was trying to turn back to the airport in Tehran when it went down. But Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, whose country lost 63 citizens in the crash, has so far not accepted the explanation. We have intelligence from multiple sources, including our allies and our own intelligence. The evidence indicates that the plane was shot down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. This may well have been unintentional. The crash adds to international pressure on Iran after months of tensions with the US. The plane went down just hours after Iran carried out ballistic missile attacks on Iraqi air bases housing US troops. The attacks were made in retaliation for the killing of top Iranian General Qasem Soleimani in a US drone strike. As Ukraine observed a day of mourning after the crash, its president did not rule out a missile strike as the cause. But he also said a terrorist attack or engine failure may be to blame. Undoubtedly, the priority for Ukraine is to identify the cause of the crash. We'll surely find out the truth. For this purpose, a thorough and independent investigation will be conducted in accordance with international law. On Friday, a team of 45 Ukrainian investigators arrived in Tehran to help with the investigation. They include specialists who examined the debris of Malaysia Airlines flight MH17, which was shot down in 2014. Tehran says it won't hand over the recovered black boxes to Boeing or the US, but has invited National Transportation Safety Board, the US Accident Investigation Agency and Boeing to be part of the investigation team. Shamim Chowdhury, TRT World.